Hello, small by fans. Happy day to you all. Thanks so much for your support and love for this channel. I appreciate your time and effort in subscribing and watching my videos. Here's another video brought to you by Bangu.com, an online retail store where you shop with fun. And they offer lots of freebies, big discounts and deals at good prices. Some of you might remember the Leago Kika Power, which stormed the market with its good value for money. Well, here is the Liago M12 with the slogan Stylish Smartphone. And the major selling points are its 2GB RAM and water drop screen design at a price below $65. There are other selling points which I will talk about later in the video, but first, let's unbox it. Inside is the smartphone with a pre installed plastic screen protector and a black soft rubber case. But don't know why the boring plain side of the rubber case is outside while the elegant reflective hexagonal side is inside. Should have been the other way around. You will find the protective silica gel, the micro USB cable, and next is the 5W charger. I didn't expect any better charger given its price. Finally the warranty card and user manuals. That is all in the box. You will notice there was no SIM injector pin. This is because it has a removable plastic back cover that protects the battery, two nano SIM slots and a dedicated SD card slot. The right hand side houses the volume rockers and power button. The top has a headphone jack and the micro USB port. Nothing on the left. The bottom has only the microphone while the speaker is at the back. It took me about 2 minutes to boot up for the first time and here is the Liago operating system 6.0 user interface. But the blade saved by making it close to stock Android with no bloatware, thereby enhancing performance. In the era where the standard body and display sizes of smartphones are getting bigger, a compact and one handed smartphone like the Liago M12 is much appreciated, especially for those with smaller hands. Apart from its portable size, this is also a good looking smartphone with the elegant gradient twilight color, the shiny gold frame around the camera lens and the water drop display. Although this is a lot of bezel in 2020 but manageable for the price. This is a 5.7 inches 720p HD plus IPS LCD display but with a low PPI of 159 and so this is not the best HD display quality out there but it has good viewing angles and still looks good for the price. It has a high auto screen brightness of up to 415 nits, which makes it more visible under sunlight. But the downside is that it can be uncomfortable to use at night or in a dark environment because the lowest screen brightness level is about 35% brighter than the average display. For now, the only solution is to make use of the night light or high care mode, but it is not a complete solution. Unfortunately, you cannot hide the notch and you are stuck with this key navigation setting. Long pressing the recent app's key navigation activates the split screen mode, which can be adjustable up to three split levels for convenience. There is no fingerprint unlock, but it has a face unlock that works quite fast and accurate in a well lit environment. Also works under ambient room light condition, but may take a longer time to unlock. It does not work in the dark. Even though this display has a 5 point multi touch technology, the touch sensitivity fluctuates sometimes. You may have to press other, thereby making it difficult to type fast and sometimes accurate. Also, unfortunately, there is no notification LED, but the screen wakes up anytime there is a notification. You may have noticed that the operation of the Liago M12 is not always smooth. It drags sometimes, which is expected when an older MediaTek 6739 Qualcomm processor is combined with a newer Android 9 Pi software. Thanks to the 2GB RAM size, the occasional lags only last between 3 to 5 seconds, and so there's nothing to worry about if you can be patient for a few seconds during the lags. Monetaxing is quite good as it retains apps in the background for a reasonable amount of time. It has good RAM management as it manages the 2GB RAM properly with about 600 MB RAM left after most apps are open in the background. Overall, I would say the Liago M12 can handle your daily social media attacks without stress. 
The diagram 12 is quite good for gaming, especially 2D games like Temple Run, Subway Surfers, Sonic, which played well but with minimal lags. Also tested with Asphalt 9 and it played it well, but you notice few expected lags, which is not disturbing. PUBG also played well, but you have to use the lowest graphics to enjoy it with few lags, which is not too bad. There is no eating problem during gameplay. Here is the anti to bench mask cause. I couldn't install the Geekbench app. The Liago M12 is not a camera phone, but it surprisingly captures good photos. The 5 megapixel selfie camera quality is above average at this price, but don't expect too much in low light because it has no selfie flash LED. Underneath the shiny and elegant gold frame are the two camera lenses, 8 megapixel and 2 megapixel, then the single not so bright LED flash. It is quite disappointing that the second 2 megapixel camera lens is fake because there is no portrait mode settings in the camera hub. This is a very bad marketing from Liago. Well, the surviving 8 megapixel camera lens takes decent pictures, and here are some samples. The major downside about the cameras is the low video quality, despite the fact that it surprisingly has an electronic image stabilization. The video still looks shaky and keeps going out of focus. Although, this is a $65 smartphone, but I expected more from these cameras. Hello, Super Mobile fans, happy day to you guys. Here is the front camera video test of the Liago M12. Let me know what you think about the audio experience. Thank you. A cool addition is the double tapping of the power button to launch the camera hub, but sadly there is no double tap to wake screen. With the speaker at the back, you can easily block your music while holding the phone, but here is the speaker quality test. You might be expecting the large 3000mAh battery of the Liago M12 to last you all day, on average is it, but it is not so because its super bright sunlight screen consumes more power, and even at lowest brightness settings, it is still brighter than normal. I usually get about 4-5 to five hours screen on time, with mobile data. For those who care, here are some test results and breakdown of the battery performance. I guess it is safe as planetary, let me know what you think. It takes about 3 hours to fully charge the battery with its 5 watts charger. Call quality is good but the earpiece volume is below average so I use the speaker most times. 
The Liagram 12 supports 4G LTE network, which is another selling point of this smartphone, but does not support low 4G band 28. In conclusion, the Liago M12 is a good smartphone that offers you the latest Android 9.0 Pi software, water drop HD display, elegant and colorful gradient design, 4G LTE, 2GB RAM and a decent quad core processor for a budget friendly price. Kindly click on the link below to get your own Liago M12 at banggood.com for a budget friendly promo price of $65. There is also the Twilight Black variant. They ship worldwide and shipping time is between 10 to 35 days. You can always check out banggood.com whenever you want to buy a smartphone because they offer good prices and huge discounts. Thanks so much for watching to the end. Talk to you in my next video. Remain humble. Bye.